women are the bravest people alive, and I don't even think I'm exaggerating when I say that. Now, for everybody else's sake, because I know people hate sweeping statements, obviously ranking who is the bravest group out there is impossible. It's impossible to rank for a slew of reasons, but I really mean it when I say that women who own their sexiness, women who just own their power and go and walk into the world despite how uncomfortable it is, the treatment that they get, the attention that they get, whether they want it or not. Women like that are so brave and I have a lot to say about it. Now, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Jalen. We are in my bus that I built. Yes, I did that. Welcome to the freaking Womanhood Diaries. This is the Womanhood Diaries where I talk about all these different subjects. Wait. I need to make sure nothing in my teeth. Hold on. My latest video, I did why women should be ugly, let women be ugly, and now we're going to the flip side on how hot women are the bravest people. To me, anyway. If you are a woman, I hope this empowers you. Now, the thing about the Womanhood Diaries is I get ready. Yes, this is my makeup bag. Literally in a Ziploc bag. And let's just talk about how hot women are so brave. <laughs> I love it. They inspire me so much. Now, the thing that I want to make sure that I touch on when I talk about, like, hot women is I want to talk about the definition. What do I mean when I say hot women? Very important for everyone to know because it doesn't matter what you actually look like. It doesn't matter if you're skinny. It doesn't matter if you're big. It literally doesn't matter. A hot woman to me is somebody who owns their power, who owns their body, who shows up in their body in a world that constantly sexualizes it, being a hot woman is an energy. Being a hot woman is confidence. Being a hot woman is literally anything. It does not matter what you look like. So get the idea of a hot woman out of your head because this, to me, it's just bare bones. The definition is a woman who owns her power, a woman who owns her body. Now, <laughs> look, here's the thing. Being a hot woman, because it is this mindset, it can take some work to get into. Even I, I like to be, I like to express, I like to dress up and whatnot. I like to be a hot woman. But the thing is, is what I've come to realize, which is being a woman in general, is that it takes so much brain energy and so much mental preparation. Sometimes if you just want to walk, like if I want to go on a walk wearing this, like I personally, honestly, have to hype myself up for it or try to ignore what I'm wearing because I hate the attention from men, to be honest. I saw this video of Tana, Tana Mojo, when she's talking about the Cody Co allegations and she is just existing in her body. She doesn't have a bra on, like I don't really care to even describe what she looks like. She just is existing in her body and I saw that First of all, already awful what she's saying happened to her, period. But I saw her existing so casually in her body, I just cannot help but look up to it. Look up to women who treat their body like fucking, treat their bodies like the body that it is, people. Come on, get with it. And I know that there are so many women out there who are afraid of being sexy or afraid of that side of themselves or just afraid of their body because of the world that we live in and how people treat women who either I can't even sh say show off because like rarely are women showing off their body I'm not here showing off my body this is just what my body looks like in this shirt you know what I mean so for Tana to just be existing in her body with that outfit I found it so brave and like I said so many people and women are so it's just a part of themselves that are shut off to it because it is so brave to show up in a world where men want to do really bad things to you where men think really weird thoughts of you where men can do really bad things to you and also not even just like the whole man aspect because us girlies know but the other aspect of like how other women treat us as well how Women feel threatened by other women existing sometimes, if not most of the time deep down because that is what we have been conditioned to feel about other women. It is women feeling, I hope my freaking, I don't know if this is blended. I'm not gonna lie to you right now. Hello, future Jalen here. I just wanted to give a little update on this product that I've been trying the past 
almost 30 days magic mine it's a mental performance shot and girl the other day <laughs> i tried to get to work okay i tried to get to work and i simply could not i just my brain wasn't in it and then i realized i haven't had magic mind that day so i took my little magic mind and i just got straight into the flow state if you're interested as well as helping yourself get into flow state or just overall have a really more grounded less stressful day use code jalen20 for up to 40 percent off of your purchase for the next 10 days take care of yourself you guys women also getting treated terribly and having internalized misogyny from other women it doesn't just obviously come from men and so it's so brave to exist in a world and show up in a world where you are beautiful and you know from every side there's gonna be bad things coming at you men like i mentioned or women also hating you because of the way that you look i don't know if this is blended <laughs> to be on this planet as a woman no matter your fucking shape or size i don't even care to show up just like that wow medals all around for everybody because lord knows everybody has something to say about us okay so i'm so proud of women for us banding together and i'm so proud of women for us to just like root each other on mini video essay if you want to check it out about how i feel like there's this shift happening in women and i feel like women are finally like being hot and sexy for themselves not for the patriarchy being hot and sexy for the enjoyment for the fun of it and i think it's so sweet that us as women we're starting to finally create like a safe space for other women to express that part of themselves with other women who also want to express that part of themselves without for the male validation and for seeking male attention and i think that's what's really hard for some men to understand <clears throat> not gonna lie y'all i'm not in the best lighting to see how this highlighter looks i just put it on we're gonna hope it looks good and yes it is also in a trash bag or a ziploc bag um my highlighter broke when i first went to england it shattered and i have not i've literally not even opened it up since it's just been in this bag and it probably will be to the end of its life anyway it's just so beautiful that women are healing themselves and because we as women also have internalized misogyny like i said it's so easy to feel threatened by a woman who is beautiful a woman who is literally just owning themselves you know in whatever which way um even like stereotypically hot women like whether they're skinny like fucking supermodels like it's so easy just to hate on them for existing but it's that exact internalized misogyny that is just gonna like girls why are we doing this no girl to girl here why are we doing this why are we hating on women okay even <laughs> i've had girls like who are like, yes, women still talk about women in such a nasty way sometimes. And it's just due to their insecurity. So I really invite you to look at yourself, to really look at those insecurities, because like I said, it is so brave for a woman to show up in society, whether she's beautiful, like whether she's done herself up or not, whether like, I don't care. Like I said, whatever she, the fuck she looks like, it's so hard for a woman to do that. And so for you as a woman to bash on them when it took so much inner courage so much inner strength to like put on mental armor to be like okay i'm gonna go walk outside in society and men are gonna cat call me men are gonna freaking talk to me men are gonna do this women are gonna hate me for that and then i'm kind of alone in this because there's so much disgust from both sides how can you hate a woman for showing up in the world when that exists come on guys come on let's get our shit together chop chop over everybody and the thing is is when you deal with that internalized misogyny when you start praising and looking up to like women for existing also slut shaming <laughs> we're not here for slut shaming period period that's honestly probably a whole nother video topic that i can get into um but that kind of does fall into the realm of like being a beautiful woman hate like how hot women are so brave is because there's this slut shaming aspect as well so but once you deal with that internalized misogyny once you deal and heal that part of yourself and you look at them in the light that is true because it is true that women you know get through shit and 
it's just that internalized misogyny that can speak volumes about pretty women, hot women, women who are just girly feminine women, I think is really what I'm getting at. Like when a woman is feminine, because we all know the world hates anything feminine, whether it's a woman expressing it or a man or not, someone who's non-binary, literally any form of feminine expression is deemed as like, eh, girl, get over yourself. Get over yourself, come on. Okay, hold on, let me put on mascara because I need to focus on this. It's like 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it's 90 degrees, but I love this mascara because even though I'm gonna be sweating, she doesn't smudge. It's uh, this one. I'll link it in my description, but anyway. Lashes change everything on my face. As I was saying though, when you heal that internal misogyny and you start seeing beautiful women everywhere, feel so inspired. I have so much respect. That's what it is. That's what it is. I have so much respect for anybody who honestly shows up and is themselves like authentically because Lord knows this world hates you for being authentic. You know, right people. So I already have so much respect for that period. But by the way, this is not a blush. This is literally my lipstick. I am filled with so much love and admiration for them. And it's something that I'm even like trying to get used to, like day to day existing in my body and existing where I know where when I walk, if my body's showing a lot, you know, it's something, it's a battle. It's an internal battle. And so because it's an internal battle for me, I can only think about how it's also an internal battle for so many other women. And that's why when I see them, I can only be filled with so much love and admiration. And I just want to root for them because it is so brave. Like I said, that's the main thing. I don't think, obviously, if we're going with classic um, descriptor words of women, brave is not something that is typically there. Being a brave woman it's not something that's in the zeitgeist of what it is to be a woman, you know? And that's why I want to really hammer that in because you are so brave for being feminine. You are so brave for being feminine. You are so brave for existing in your body. I don't know what that blush looks like. I don't know what any of this looks like. You're so brave for showing up in your authentic part of you. And I also love older women. Oh, that could be another. Here I am talking, getting so many video topic ideas. If you want to stick around for them, subscribe. Because I have a lot of thoughts and opinions. But I just, because women and because feminine women are not seen or taken seriously at all. Obviously, I have my personal experience with that. That's why I want to remind you watching, the girls watching, the women watching, that you, you are so you are so admirable. You're so inspirational. When I see you existing, when I see girls be girls, when I see women be women, when I see women be sexy, when I see women owning themselves, I am rooting for you. <laughs> I mean it with my whole chest. Oh, I love you. You are loved and you are supported. Let me put my lipstick on. Oh, and this lipstick has a little heart. If you want to be around supportive women, I've specifically made a group chat for you. It's basically a weekly gratitude practice where we just uplift each other and support each other and we can focus on our mindset together because life can be hard and so it's important to focus on the good stuff. So the information's on the screen, there's information in the description, the pinned comment, you know the drill, you know the drill. If you want to join that, I really... I just want to be a safe space for women <laughs> and that's what I'm curating so your expression and your authenticity is so appreciated and I root for you so hard and that's why I think hot women are so brave because we exist in the world like I said a bajillion times and I'll tell you once again we exist in a world that wants to tear us down from every angle men women literally everybody everywhere and i know there's so much talk about like women have it so easy they get shit for free girl talk to a woman and i hope your mind will be changed because that is not the case and even if women do get things for free because they're pretty 
it's never because out of it's always out of like expecting something like oh i gave you this for free now i deserve it. oh don't play with your lipstick because that will happen one second even the things that like <laughs> women people think that are like privileges for women there's always an underbelly girl let yourself be ugly as well be hot and slay but also let yourself be ugly ignore the fact that my light is turning off i'll link the video on the screen because sometimes we also just need to fucking let ourselves go and that's fine that's all i talk about in the video let yourself be ugly let yourself be hot own your hotness you're brave you're amazing you're inspirational and i love you okay bye <laughs> i'll see you in the next video